Commission is hard. <laughs> As I was searching on the internet, I was trying to look for women that are married and they are so messy. What I was just looking for was women that would come to tell me that ah, what I saw you did was a mission was that it's hard, but we've got to do what we've got to do because God said we should do it. So me and some busy go, but then inshallah are you fine? These are some of the struggles I was against. I just was, was just looking for women like that. So I was looking for the older woman that would just do the work of Titus chapter two verse three to five for me. For months, I think, after I met Elizabeth Elliot. So eventually, I found a woman in Nigeria. She wasn't preaching about that, but she was sharing her experience. She was explaining how hard salvation could be, but how she did it nonetheless. And this was a glorious testimony that I'm going to be sharing in my next video. Lord, praise the mighty Jesus. Pastor said I should say something about <laughs> our brother Mike. <laughs> okay, about my dear. That means said I should not call brother Mike today. <laughs> but I said, okay, God will help me. But what I will say starts with brother Mike. <laughs> I called him brother Mike. Before I ever knew it would be the man I would spend my life with. Well respected by brethren back then in the campus. Very strong, full of zeal, focused on the things of God, especially in drama ministry. I got so attracted to him, especially for his love and zeal for God. When I was praying for whom to marry, I told God, give me a man with whom to serve you. Little did I know what, was, what I was asking for until Brother Mike became my husband. I saw a man of rugged feet, a man who will not bow for defeat or failure, a man who will rise up fast and still keep moving. I saw a man whose focus is heaven. My faith was stretched in the course of following this man. But the Lord taught me to follow. Even at times when he failed, I pointed it to God. The Holy Spirit will still encourage me to keep following. Really, it has not been easy following Mike. Many a times I grumbled in my spirit, asking God why I need to agree with him. I mean, Brother Mike, on everything, when I'm not stupid. But he has always told me that is where your wisdom is. Today, I'm starting to testify before God and all his children that I have no regrets at all. Following my thank you today, I'm starting to testify before God and all his children that I have no regret at all following my own mic. Abayomi Uluwa Soji Bamilui. As we are moving to the next phase. I see you going in greater grace, with greater anointing to bless the world. And I promise by his grace to keep loving, submitting, and following you to fulfill all your dreams and visions. To fulfill all your dreams and visions in Jesus' name. I love you, Mike. Thank you.
when she came to me yesterday, she said, Pastor said we should write something. I've written my own. I said, let me see what you, wrote, you have written. He said, no. They didn't say we should show. So I now, I now went to pray so that I can write my own. So Gloria, the most precious gift. I can confidently say with proper understanding that I will never have gotten any successful ministry without you, Gloria Olushola Alaba. I therefore thank the Lord God of heaven that I did not make the greatest mistake of my life because I found you. I count myself very fortunate in life for getting married to you. No wonder things are working well for me. No wonder I am succeeding in ministry. No wonder I am looking younger as I grow in age. You have not, you have not overused me. I thank you. I thank you for managing my issues and challenges. No wonder I have the peace I have. I know I have not loved you enough. I'm trying to read some books on how to undo, how to undo gold. So I'm trying to know how to love someone like you. I am eager to learn how to love you as expected. Many times, my ministerial duties have taken me away from you, I know. I am in between two options many times, you know. To give you all the time you deserve, or to attend to the compulsory ministerial duties. But you are more than ministerial duties. But at the same time, I must walk the work of him that sent me while it is day. Because the night comment, why no one can walk again? And then I will remember that Jesus had said that, 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 that Jesus that said that statement wanted me to give you the quality time you deserve. And there is, this is where I have failed many times. And this is where I ask for your forgiveness today. Forgive all those times I have not given you the time you deserve. I will try and change. <laughs> Forgive all those times I have shouted at you when I am under pressure of ministry and domestic needs. I, m I will try and trust God more and contain my emotion. Forgive all those times I have bumped on you with crazy, outrageous visions and missions which I said I received from God and I have not given you enough time to think about it and absorb it. I will try and find a better way to present my visions and missions which the Lord lay on my heart. Gloria Olushola Alaba. You are a very big, voluminous book. I have not read the book to a quarter of it. I'm still discovering fantastic hidden riches locked up in the book day by day. And the more I read the book, the more I discover the riches you carry.